Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brenda Joseph. Today I'm going to show you how you can improve or how you can repair your old furniture. Today I'm going to work on uh, dining chairs. They have been used for a longer time. Uh, they have changed the color. Uh, they are in leather and the leather is torn. So I'm going to remove the, the, the leather, then I put the cloth and I spray it. So you just stay around and we are going to learn each and everything just on, on one uh, video. And uh, you will learn how you can spray uh, the old furniture to change even the color of the, the old furniture and you change it to any color you want. You just take around and you will know each and everything. Actually the dining chairs I'm talking of, they are very weak, they are loose. When you sit there, you can even fall or it can break, then you fall and you get an accident. So, if you have this type of furniture, any type of furniture, you just see, conduct me, or as I'm going to show you, you can do it yourself. You just see, stick around, and you will know each and everything. If you are new on this uh, channel, please subscribe so that next time when I upload, uh, a new video you will be the first one to watch and you will be notified so you just stick around and if you are my returning subscriber please welcome back thank you very much for watching and I'll continue watching so now I'm going to start uh, the work you just see stay around and learn each and everything from A up to Z. I think now you can see how weak the way this dining chair is. So you can't sit there when it's like that. It can easily break, you fall, and you get an accident. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some brackets down in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm removing this part of the runners so that I can put the brackets and the brackets are going to work as runners as well as strengthening the joint because I'm going to use glue and some uh, screws which I'm going to screw there so that it, it can be firm and you can use it uh, more years to come. So just stick around and uh, you will learn each and everything. Those are the brackets I'm talking of. You just see, uh, stay around and learn. Share it with family and friends. So now what I'm doing, 
I'm fixing the brackets. But what you do first, you you get the church cramp, you cramp it, then you start eh, fixing the brackets. That that eh, church cramp it helps us to tighten in the joints. So whenever uh, you nail or you secure it, the joint remains in in one place. So after that, you can even put some nails uh, in on that joint, because which are there now they are loose. So you can add some nails, apply some glue, so that the joint becomes uh, strong. This part now I'm going to apply some glue on the brackets before uh, I fix them on the corners. Make sure you, you fix the brackets in all the four corners of the, the chair. Mm. So that the things become strong and I use it for some time. The gram has fallen, but let me first screw one screw, and then I will put it back. After putting it back, then I, I put the second screw. So you just stay around as I have told you at first and learn something. But you might be having your old chair like this one, but you, you, you want even to discuss it. But when you learn something like this one, you can go under. Prepare it yourself and I use it for some time and uh, you save the money of buying a new a new one. So now I have told you I'm um, gramping it before I add the second screw. Because if you just add the second screw when you have not put the gramp which means the joint will not be firm. Yeah. So you have to do that so that our joints can be firm and strong. Uh, even if you are making a new chair, you have to put the gramp to help you to strengthen or to secure the 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 joints if you don't use the cramp which means your joints will be loose now i'm on the second uh, corner where i'm going to fix uh, the bracket so as, as i've told you you have to apply some glue for extra strength. If you don't put the screw, uh, the glue, the joints will not be very, very strong. Unfortunately, some people they just grab or they use, and uh, they don't use glue in their furniture, which is not good. They will be cheating the customer. You have to put the glue so that the joints can be with extra strength. Yeah. That is it.
that one is about to be complete and then we go on another one mm. please share this video with some other people your friends and a family so that they can also uh, learn something which can solve their problem which can help them uh, in life that one is strong yes we are in the village you can even hear the word uh, the coco is here making some noise <laughs> yes Wow, 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 wow. So you drill there some holes on the brackets uh, before fixing. It will help you drive the screws easily and it will not crack. But if you just do it without putting holes, it will disturb you, and sometimes it can't even be fixed well on, on the chair. Hmm. Applying some glue putting some holes then screw it it will be very firm very 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 firm so don't throw the chairs prepare them use them for more good years mm. If you can't do it, look for the carpenter who is nearby. If they don't know how to 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 do it, tell them to visit go to twenty twenty. They will learn something from from the channel. Or if you don't have tools. You can even go to them, you borrow the tools or you educate them, supervise them, do for me A, B, C, D, do like this, do like this, because now you have the what? And the, the idea of repairing a dining chair or even an office chair the similar. Yeah. Now this is the last bracket. This is the last bracket which I'm fixing. So after that, then we are going to to dress the seats with the with the cloth after that then we spray with the white color after the white color we put the have organic color we we wanted or we need 
and everything will look fantastic yeah the last day part of which which is um working on Applying some glue. Applying some glue. It is very important for to use glue because on widening joints we can only use glue without using the nails or even the dowels. So it is very 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 important to to apply glue on wood. If you want your joint to be strong, don't forget to use wood glue. Yes. Even though there are some fake glue, but as a carpenter, and you have an experience, you have to look for the best one, which can stick your things properly. Don't just buy anything else elsewhere you must have your specific people to get such things quality things for me I like quality work cool things oh that one is also done
So after doing all the work, this is the results. This is how beautiful uh, the work is. I think you can see. I've changed the cloth. I've changed the color. Things are looking very, very, very beautiful. Fantastic. So I think you have learned something. So now you can even share it with your family and your friends so that they can also do something like this. If not, you contact me through email. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you.